Hello YouTube, up to here again and welcome back to episode 16 of our All Achievements Challenge in Modded Minecraft. <clears throat> little recap, our last video on the channel is of me attempting to get some Wither Skeleton Skulls, which we did, and the manner in which I did them, or got received them, it's pretty straightforward. I uh, just made a cleaver and went to the nether and um, killed a couple of wither skeletons. It's on the video of the Twitch stream that is on the channel, episode 15.5. And um, the first probably three quarters of that channel or that uh, video is of me trying to find a creative method uh, to get the skulls. Um, and then the uh, thought of doing the cleaver came to me later, which is what I should have done to begin with. But, oh well, <laughs> it didn't quite work out that way. Um, it was productive, I think. Um, what I tried to do was make a, or find a skeleton spawner that we could then put in the nether. So I did a good bit of caving. But then my next thought was to make an ender IO powered spawner. But uh, we got hung up during that process. So, because um, we actually have to make a powered spawner something, we have to make something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we have to make something. This powered spawner, I think that's what we need to make. In order to do so, uh, I don't know, I need to make that machine and then make some of these crystals. We need to get some emeralds. It's... Um, not an extremely lengthy process, but then I just thought, why don't I just make a cleaver? And that's what I did. So today, we are going to go get us some wither um, stars, or some nether stars. Uh, what I do want to get, though, is a bit more... Yes, we want a strength potion. I don't know if the weakness is going to matter. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. And let's hope we don't die a miserable death. So, let's go over this way. There's two things I want to get with Nether Stars. The first thing I want to get is a Runic Belt for Creative Flight. Uh, I think it's the best flight in the game. And I don't see a whole lot of people getting it. Um, but it's definitely something that I want to get. I think it's uh, an absolutely fabulous, wonderful, awesome, wonderful, amazing item. And I definitely want to get one. Now, the other decision we have here is where to actually do this. And I'm thinking we're definitely going to do it in a cave, obviously. I think that's the easiest way to kill the wither, especially when we don't have a ton of armor, which we don't. Um, our armor kind of stinks. Not that that really matters, because I think we're going to absolutely destroy his face, considering the tools we have available to us. <clears throat> so, let's just carve ourselves out a little chunk over here. We're down at Y20. I think it's a good level. That should be fine. Let's uh, keep digging out here. And let's make ourselves a little hole. I'll tell you what, let's uh, block this back entrance because I don't, I don't want any surprises. And let's get our uh, hammer out here. Now, I can't see this being a very long fight. I really can't. Um, <clears throat> I think he's going to melt when I hit him with this crossbow, and then we'll go in with the final kill with that. Um, actually, does this do more damage? 5.5, 5.5. does seem amount of damage. I can swing this harder. Another good thing, really good thing we're going to get out of this is a... Um, division sigil. So let's get to it. 
Here we go. Hopefully this goes as planned. We got another achievement here. It's gonna be loud. Come on, die. Got it. Whew. Sucker is loud. We are taking a good bit of damage. So we got a division sigil, which is awesome. We got ourselves another star. Hopefully we don't die. Getting awfully close. Yeah, we're gonna die. Ah! Oh. Darn it. <laughs> All right. So what we're we gonna do about that? First, let's sleep. Darn it. Uh, we did get some achievements though, so let's see what we got here. I want to note that I also got overkill in the uh, recorded video. I did not mean to. I was killing a skeleton and came down with my cleaver and crit his head, and that uh, knocked him out. So yeah. All right. So we have killed the wither, or we'll spawn the wither, and then kill the wither. Beacon. I don't think I'm going to do right now because um, I need to get some more resources. And I still need to research that, but. We've almost taken out all the vanilla achievements. Uh, we still have the on the rail. I have collected more mine carts. That's just all that's going to take is a bunch of mine, car mine carts. Um, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Minecraft being weird, I guess. <clears throat> Let's just look at the rest of this. Make sure. Stack overflow. I guess make a stack of stars. I don't know. That's something. Might end up the one in this pack because we'll get to the point where we're automating wither kills. But let's um, let's figure out how we're going to get back down there. I have an idea. We're going to make some longfall boots so we can just hop down that thing. And also, I'm also going to need a pickaxe, uh, which we should have somewhere around here. So longfall boots are obsidian. And diamonds, which I should have some. Where are my diamonds? I don't see them. There they are. And some iron. Alrighty. Uh, let's get those on our body. And let's get, uh, we need a pickaxe, and we'll go over there and get that. Should have plenty of pickaxes, right? Well, let's get this stone one, that's really all we need. Alright, let's get down there, get our stuff back, and, um, you know what else I'm going to take? I'm going to take, does milk counteract the wither effect? I think it does. Um, I don't know if there's any way to get milk around here quickly. I don't think there is. We might have to fly up to get to milk. Uh, this stuff happens, you know. Worst things have happened. At least he didn't escape on me. That could have been the worst thing. Uh, we were able to take him down, uh, which makes me happy. Let's just go through here. I can't wait to get creative flight. That is going to be absolutely amazing. We're good here because of those boots. Wait, 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 wait. What was the hole? There it is. And then we were down and over, right? Down here, down here. Back around this way. And I want to do another one, like I said, so we can get the Draconic um, Translocator thingy. Because uh, it is such an amazing item. Alright, let's get our stuff on. Alright, Knapsack can go up in there. Uh, Put this on and 
this on. Let's see, put that, 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 that. It looks like everything falls out of her knapsack, which is fine. That's all right. I don't think that matters much. Uh, should I go up and get some milk? I think I should. Just because it's going to make this easier. And I can get that other... Um, what am I trying to say here? I can get the um, the milk. Get the milk and get the other strength potion that I think I have. So let's uh, go up and do that. All right, mundane belt. I think that's what I actually want. Be able to make that light. And maybe we'll go ahead and do that in the house so I can wear some better armor. It's easy enough to make that belt. And it is 6 o'clock. That's <laughs> my phone telling me so. So how in the world do I get up there? There's a way. Awesome. Alright, so let's make that belt. And then we'll go find ourselves a cow. And I think that does counteract the wither effect. I'm almost certain it does. Alright. So, runic belt. Like I said, I love having that division sigil. That's going to be big to get some cursed earth. Which we can use in that place to get a whole bunch of mobs spawning. And we can use in the nether to get a whole bunch of mobs spawning there. And uh, that'll just be absolutely amazing. Alright, so... Runic Belt of Flight. We need an advanced belt, which is nether, gold, and three leather. And then it's just two feathers, right? It's pretty broken. Uh huh, uh huh. Three leather. I'm going to need to get another feather, apparently. Should be able to find that somewhere. I'm surprised I don't actually have one. Let's just do that. Quick peek through our stuff. Darn, no feather. Nope. Okay, let's get our piece of gold. Let's go ahead and make the belt. And then let's get our one more one more chicken death. And we will have our good flight. There's a chicken over here somewhere. I hear him. So now we'll have Creative Flight, which costs zero power and allows for an, an armor. No, it doesn't take up an armor place, uh, which I think is absolutely amazing. So we'll take this off and inside our bobbles, put that on, and see now we're Creative Flight without the noise. We have Great Hover. It's 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 creative flight. It's absolutely amazing. And with that, we can put on better protection of our chest. So yeah, we don't even really need long fall boots simply because we have creative flight. Uh, I'm gonna keep a set on us, and we'll put a set in here. So let's empty out some of the stuff. I'm gonna put you in knapsack. I'm eventually going to have um what am I trying to say uh AE2 system. 
That is definitely on the list. It's a must-have. We need to work on that. I think that's going to be the next big thing we do. So, because I've just been throwing everything into that draconic chest. Uh, I haven't really been sorting out much of anything uh, because it's such a pain. But if we have AE2, I can just dump every item in there, and uh, it won't have any fears at all. All right, let's get our milk. Let's go back down to that location. Let's do this, and then we'll come back up and make our draconic transport thing. In between it and our, you know, our belt, uh, movement around the map will be simplified a great deal, uh, to say the least. So we'll hop on down here. Uh, this way. And these um, have haste on them, so I run a little bit faster. I do want to pimp out this amethyst armor too. I think it's the best armor I can have right now. Um, it's good stuff. So let's put this here. Oh, I didn't get the strength potion, but oh well. Do I need it? I don't think I do. We're gonna find out, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get back here. Hopefully this goes well. All right. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's <laughs> put down some torches. We get did get the uh He didn't really hurt me that much more, did he? It's got to be because of the oh shoot, the extra armor that we have, right? I'm gonna die though before uh, I heal up, so we get back down here. We have an easy method down with our other jetpack, so we'll just we'll hop down, get that last bit, and we'll come back up and make that draconic. Uh, Piece. So let's get our jetpack and long fall boots, and we'll need that pick. All right, let's hurry over there. The last episode of the Twitch stream that was quite fun for me. I en I enjoyed that uh, a good bit. Twitch is much better suited, obviously, for streaming than, um, I think, YouTube, uh, certainly. YouTube streaming, yeah, it works, but there's nobody there. Um, I've never really watched anybody stream on YouTube. I've always gone to Twitch. That's just what I'm used to, right? So, I really don't know anybody that only watches YouTube streams. Um, I don't know. I guess it would be a thing. Not really my thing, but I guess it would be a thing. It's just that I think Twitch is just so much better. Uh, let's see, let's get you on here, and then we can start putting this stuff away. Alrighty. All these non-essentials up in here. We don't need both sets of boots. Okay, that looks good. I don't even know if I'm going to empty out my inventory because I want to make this video uh, succinct here and complete. So let's check and make sure we're not missing anything. Nope. And it'll get better. Um, Next time we go to kill some wither, 
we'll be even stronger still, you know. Um, hopefully I won't die. <laughs> that would be nice not to die, right? So I think we can work that out. We'll figure that out. Get ourselves stronger. But I do want to make the Draconic Translocator uh, before I end this episode. Alright, so what do we need to do that? Um, first, let's put some of this junk away. So it's not really junk, it's all good stuff. Two sigils. Maybe we'll activate them both just to do it. All right, get ourselves a bit organized here. All right, let's get that uh, draconic. And let's see what it takes to do this. Three pearls, a couple ingots, a couple cores. Okay. Might not have. Oh, yeah, I got the gold. Gold. Pearls. Need some ingots. Might need some more. Diamonds. Uh huh. What else do we need? That might be about it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get these pearls smelted up. Not these pearls, these, um, Dusts. Okay. So let's make four of these. And one of those. And not good enough. We got another achievement. And then one of those. Which are, yeah, we got everything we need. Excellent. So we got a couple more achievements here. Let's go ahead and get some more um, Ender Pearl so we can fuel this bad boy. Uh, let's go ahead and just get some of those. So, uh, let's see, add fuel. It will consume, this thing will consume Ender Pearls. But transport us to whatever location we have set. So I'm going to go ahead and set a location here for our base. So add new, we'll call this base, and commit. And I don't know what happened there. Um, so now if we go somewhere and we click on that, boom, we're right back. Pretty amazing, huh? Pretty amazing. And it works cross dimensions. So if we go to the nether and uh, set up, if we go to the fortress, we can set the uh, spawn, the uh, set a, uh, what do you want to call it, a teleportation spot to that. And it'll take us there right away. So rather um, OP item. So between that and our creative flight belt, um, we can really start to uh, have really good transportation in game. Um, amazing transportation in game, quite frankly. And really no fear of, of dying because I think with this belt, although let's test it out, right? Let's make sure this belt. We don't have to take fall damage with it either. So we have no fear of... I mean, we could fall into the void, but we're not going to fall into the ground and then smash it in the face. But anyway, I'm going to call the video there. Uh, end. Thank you for watching. Uh, it was fun dying a couple times. <laughs> it's always a good thing to uh, have that in the game, I think. Actually, let's get rid of, uh, get rid of our points here. <clears throat> remove, remove, uh, and let's check what achievements we did accomplish. Uh, like I said, we did that in the last video accidentally. We obviously got um, spawn the wither, kill the wither, 
And then we got a couple of Jaconic. Which are not good enough. And craft the advanced dislocator. So we have a lot to do in the Draconic line. Uh, these are all good things here. Draconic is very, very strong, as I've said. Very, very strong. An amazing mod. But um, I think what we're going to do in the next episode is a bit of grinding. I don't quite know yet. Maybe we'll... Um, maybe the next episode will not be a Twitch stream, but another video where we start into AE2. Because once we get started in that, we're going to get a bunch of uh, achievements uh, going there. So maybe we'll do some prep in the Twitch stream. Maybe some caving. We do have the division decision. Uh, we could work that out in the next Twitch stream. So anyway, it'll either be a stream of me working on division sigil and prep for AE2, or it'll just be a video of me getting into AE2. But anyway, this video is running along. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.